Hello friends. Welcome to my channel for Medicos. This video contain information on basics of clinical trials. What is clinical trials, why they are needed and what are the stages of clinical trials. This is one of the must know topic for pharma and medical students. Before starting, I will request you to subscribe, share and hit the bell icon for more such videos. What is clinical trials? WHO defines clinical trials as any research study that prospectively assigns human participants or groups of humans to one or more health-related interventions to evaluate the effects on health outcomes. In other words, a clinical trial is defined as the systematic study of new drug in human subject to generate data for discovering and verifying the clinical pharmacological effects and adverse effects, with the objective of determining safety and or efficacy of the new drug. Why clinical trials are needed? Clinical trial are needed to evaluate new drugs, medical devices, biologics or other interventions on patients in strictly scientifically controlled settings required for regulatory authority approval of new therapies. To assess the safety and efficacy of an experimental therapy. To evaluate whether the new intervention is better than standard therapy and to compare the efficacy of two standard or marketed intervention. Phases in clinical trials. When a compound deserving trial in man is identified by animal studies, the regulatory authorities are approached who on satisfaction issue an investigational new drug, IND, license. Standards for the design, ethics, conduct, monitoring, auditing, recording and analyzing data and reporting of clinical trials have been laid down in the form of good clinical practice. GCP, Guidelines by an International Conference on Harmonization, ICH. Adherence to these provides assurance that the data and reported results are credible and accurate, and that the rights, integrity, and confidentiality of trial subjects are protected. The drug is formulated into a suitable dosage form and clinical trials are conducted in a logical phased manner. The clinical studies are conventionally divided into four phases. To minimize any risk, initially few subjects receive the drug under close supervision. Later, larger numbers are treated with only relevant monitoring. Phase 1, Human Pharmacology and Safety Studies The emphasis is on safety and tolerability, while the purpose is to observe the pharmacodynamic effects in man, and to characterize absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion. The first human administration of the drug is carried out by qualified clinical pharmacologists or trained physicians in a setting where all vital functions are monitored and emergency or resuscitative facilities are available. Subjects mostly healthy volunteers, sometimes patients, are exposed to the drug one by one, total 20 to 40 subjects, starting with the lowest estimated dose and increasing stepwise to achieve the effective dose. Duration is about up to one month. No blinding is done, the study is open label. Phase 2 Therapeutic Exploratory Trials The primary aim is establishment of therapeutic efficacy, safety, dose range, and ceiling effect in a controlled setting. Tolerability and pharmacokinetics are studied as extension of Phase 1. This is conducted by physicians who are trained as clinical investigators on 100 to 400 patients with target disease selected according to specific inclusion and exclusion criteria. This phase lasts for several months. The study may be blinded or open label and is generally carried out at 2 to 4 centers. Phase 3, 
therapeutic confirmatory trials. The goal of Phase 3 trials is to confirm the effectiveness of the investigational new drug and compare it with placebos or therapies already available on the market. Generally these are randomized double-blind comparative trials conducted on a larger patient population by several physicians at many centers. Phase 3 trials are the most expensive and time-consuming, lasting for a couple of years or longer to establish long-term safety. Once, phase of clinical trial are completed, all the parameters including indications, guidelines for therapeutic use, safety, and efficacy have been are formulated, a new drug application, NDA, is submitted to the licensing authority, who if convinced give marketing permission. New drug application is an approval to sale and market a new pharmaceutical agent. The goals of the NDA are to provide enough information to permit FDA reviewer to reach the following key decisions. Whether the drug is safe and effective in its proposed use, S, and whether the benefits of the drug outweigh the risks. Whether the drug's proposed labeling is appropriate, and what it should contain. Whether the methods used in manufacturing the drug and the controls used to maintain the drug's quality are adequate to preserve the drug's identity, strength, quality, and purity. Phase 4, Post-Marketing Studies a goal of post-marketing studies is to monitor the drug's safety and efficacy when utilized in a general population. Since drugs and medical devices are approved on the basis of clinical trials, which involve relatively small numbers of people who have been selected for this purpose, meaning that they normally do not have other medical conditions which may exist in the general population. Post-marketing surveillance can further refine, or confirm, or deny, the safety of a drug or device after it is used in the general population by large numbers of people who have a wide variety of medical conditions. Uncommon or idiosyncratic adverse effects, or those that occur only after long-term use and unsuspected drug interactions are detected at this stage. Patterns of drug utilization and additional indications may emerge from the surveillance data. Further therapeutic trials involving special groups like children, elderly, pregnant or lactating women, patients with renal or hepatic disease, etc., which are generally excluded during clinical trials, may be undertaken at this stage. Modified release dosage forms additional routes of administration, fixed-dose drug combinations, etc. may be explored. As such, many drugs continue their development even after marketing. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe.